It's a wonderful day today. And those I call upon those who do not have and have doubts, is a wonderful time to change your mind and change your heart. It's a, it's a great day to stop doubting and start believing. You know Jesus died for you. There's no doubt about that. We also know that he rose again from the dead. Amen. We also know that he died for our sins. The question I'm asking you is very simple. God is asking you. Jesus Christ is asking you. You sent his son. And Jesus Christ took the wrath of God upon him. The cup that he said when he was so despised and so anguished in the Garden of Gethsemane, drinking that cup. If it's possible, let this cup pass over. What was in the cup? The sin of the whole world. The wrath of God was there. The sin of the world was there. And he took that cup for you and me. Thank you, Jesus. If that doesn't know you, nothing will know you. Mm. Jesus says, stop doubt. Mm. Stop believing. You know, in the early Christians, right, in the early churches, They were crucifying, they were, they were putting them to, in the arena with the lions and tigers, they were killing them, the Christians. <coughs> they were burning them as on stakes, they are using them as lamps yeah. in the night. Right? When the Christians were tied up and put on the stake, they died saying, Jesus is risen. They shout, they did not, they cried out, Jesus is risen while tied to the stake. Mm. And the other believers said, indeed he is risen. Mm. You know how it says, how, we, how the greetings came over? He said, Jesus is risen, the other person responds, indeed he is risen. Mm. risen indeed. Yeah, he is risen indeed. So the other, so these people put everything, or tied everything to the stake. Mm. And Jesus is risen, and they died for it. Mm. It's true, we have, they have put everything, they have put everything on the, the whole life on the stake. We cannot be buried in sin and say happy resurrection, can we? In Romans 6, 4, Paul says, We have to be buried with him through baptism into death in order that Jesus Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father. We too may live a new life. You see? You see the significance? We too have to be dead and buried and then we can rise again. The baptism is one of the significant, mm -hmm. yes. important thing, you know. You, you're declaring to the whole world that you are a child of God. Right. And you know, even though you might have accepted in your heart, but if you, the, the baptism is a significance to declare, to proclaim by baptizing in the water that you're dying for, mm -hmm. the, in, in, for the world and you're coming out of the water is a new creation for Christ. And they are pro proclaiming to the world that you are a new creation. <coughs> Most Christians believe the resurrection, but we live as if we are still in dead. You know, in, in, in the book of Revelations, there were seven churches, right? The church of Sardis. God comes to them and says, you look that you are as if you are alive, but you are dead. Mm -hmm. You look you are alive, but you are dead. Mm -hmm. What are you saying? You say, you look, you know the fig tree? Mm -hmm. Why did God curse the fig tree? Mm -hmm. The fig tree was big. It had a lot of leaves. Mm -hmm. There plenty of leaves. It looked good. Some of the Christians are like that. Mm -hmm. And it was, and, and they, and the Christians were like that, and there was no fruit in them. So God cursed it. And there's two thoughts with that. One thing is that you have to be fruitful. It also talks about God's is 100% human and 100% man in that, in that instance. Right? Somebody can question and say, how come God did not know there's no fruit in that? He is God. He was 100% man and 100% God. He went, he went thinking there was fruit because 100% man. He didn't have fruit, he was 100% God and God the tree. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, so we got to be fruitful. If we believe it. So the resurrection of Jesus Christ is the foundation and the central theme of Christianity. 
Resurrection means a lot to for Christian. It means three things for them. Jesus Christ is who he claimed to be. Jesus Christ had a power for what he claimed to have. And Jesus Christ did what he came to do.